Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we are playing the Shaman in the arena. It got the most votes, so that's what we're gonna go with. And we start out with a legendary here. Huh, well I'm not picking Leroy. I do think Lofab is really, really good, but... And in fact it might be the best one here, but I think I'm gonna go with Elise Starseeker because that one is just, you know, more fun and I've never actually played with it. So uh, let's try that. If you can just get it to work at least one time during this run, I'll be happy. Let's pick that and see what else we get here. Well, this is less exciting. Hmm. When, uh, not this one. This one is awful. So it's going to be Iron Forge Rifleman or the Wind Speaker. I think Iron Forge Rifleman is probably slightly better. I mean, of course, you have a lot of uh, potential for a lot of bursts with the Wind Speaker, but we can't really make a deck around it the way you couldn't construct it. So I think I'm going to go with the Iron Forge Rifleman. It's more well rounded, and I do love those pink cards where you can do like a little bit of damage. A hex, excellent card. Let's go with that. Yule Scar Scarab, really good, especially in Shaman. So yeah, let's go with that. Oh, these are good cards. Uh, spider Tank or Haunted Creeper? Oh, what do we want here? I mean, both of them are so good. Of course, Haunted Creeper has a special place in Shaman if you can get some... Um, oh, it's called? Flame Tongue Totems. You don't have that yet, but... Yeah, let's go with it. Uh, and then uh, we got the Huge Toad. Pretty good card. And the other two cards are not good at all, so easy pick. Oh, that's the Flame Tongue. But we also have the Totem Golem. Hmm. I wish I wouldn't get all the good cards at the same choice, but more spread out. Hmm, okay, so... Uh, we get both really good. Um, which one do we go with? <laughs> I, can't, I can't decide. Okay, you know what, let's go with the... Totem Golem. I think I'm gonna go with the Totem Golem. All right. I hope I hope we get a Flame Tongue later though, because I kind of want both. Fork Lightning. Not a big fan. That two Overload really. It's such, it's such a big downside that it's hard to. It's easy to forget about it, but it's just. It's just I don't think it's a very good card. Uh, let's go with the. Um, yeah, Sentient Shield Master here. Everything is awesome. Not gonna work in Arena. Death Lord, not a big fan, especially when you can't really design your deck around it like an arena. Lil Exorcist, not that great either. But, I mean, lots of people play Death Rattle Minions, so you can often get it out as a free fall, but sometimes you sit there and turn free and it's your only free drop, and you're like, I wish I had another free drop. But then it's like, well, if your other free drop is Death Lord, that might not be much better. Let's go with the Lil Exorcist. And, oh, huh, oh, Sludge spells you probably, uh, yeah, I mean, this one is like, you, it's so, like, you gotta set it up just right, and it's not really good before turn 7, let's go with the Sludge spells you, it's always good, Tusk got Totemic, well, that's a good card, and the other two, not so much, easy pick, uh, hmm, Another huge toad, maybe. I mean, this one is not too bad, but it's not that great either. I think huge toad is probably good. We got a lot of two drops now, so we don't really need that many more. But what we could use is an excellent free drop. How about overload? I don't think we have very much, right? We have that one. And that's about it. So let's go with the spider tank here. Always good. Fire guard destroyer, very good card. Shredder, very good card. Now we just need like um, some AoE and, and then we are pretty good. Maybe a couple of uh, flame fi fire elementals. <laughs> All right. And not dual scarab? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Um, well, do we even have any? Well, we do have one mech. Oh, wait, two mechs. Oh, okay. So we got some stuff. Yeah, why not? Clockwork Knight. Let's go with that. Ah, come on. That that's not the rare we want. <laughs> I 
Yeah, that's not the Rami one. All right, so let's see. Demolisher, Veiling Soul. We don't really want to silence our own minions. That doesn't really seem like that good of a choice. Let's go into Demolisher. Oh, and another legendary. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I think, well, it's not going to be Millhouse. Probably not. So, yeah, Ragnaros. Let's go with Ragnaros. That's another legendary. All right. <laughs> well, um, let's go with Harker. That's pretty good. Okay, and uh, these two are pretty awful. Clockwork Knight, pretty awesome. That's, well, not that awesome, but it's all right. Uh, a Shredder, that does help the Clockwork Knight. And let's see, how are the, cur the curves so far? We actually have... It looks fairly healthy. Yeah, we got a little bit of everything. And we got two legendaries there in the end. And at least, most of the time, she's not going to be that great. But I hope she can just be awesome at least once during this run. Let's get another Hex. And I wonder what, if you can get a, a Lightning Storm or two, then this deck is awesome. But if not, eh, it's doing pretty good so far. Let's get a Crackle, because we actually don't have any removal other than our Hexes. So, let's go with that. And... Oh... Brewmaster. I guess we could Brewmaster the Scarab. Yeah, you know what, let's go with that. And uh, uh, even the Tusk of Totemic and stuff. I mean, eh, maybe I'll find some places for it. If you really want the third Scarab, I guess I don't think we really need that. I think instead I'll go with uh, a Yeti, since we've already got two of those. Let's go with that. Rolling Sabomatic, Dark Scale Healer. The one thing about this deck is that it doesn't really have any end game, but the early game is fairly strong. So, and we do have a couple of legendaries here in the end. So that might not be an issue. Even though a little bit of card draw could be nice. But it just makes me think that even though I like the Sapomatic, maybe we should go with the Dark Scale Healer instead to, uh, you know, get a little more mid game stuff at least. Well, this is kind. Of, this is card draw in a way, right? I mean, it's like a five mana minion in a way, when you think about how long the deck lasts. Yeah, we don't need more two drops. Let's just go with the dark scale healer here, simply just because of the curve issues. Uh, I think the Stephomatic is actually a better card. Uh, Argent Commander. Yeah, let's go with that. And. Spiteful Smith. Oh, we don't have any weapons. That's a shame. But the Spiteful Smith is still decent even without that. We have enough two drops, so I'm not gonna grab any more of those. Ravenhold Assassin. Sure, why not? It's decent. So overall, the card quality of the deck is quite high. Especially, of course, like Harker, Ragnaros are very, very strong. And we don't have many really weak cards. I mean, Ironforge, Rifleman, and Demolisher are not that great. But you're not hopeless either. So I would say the only thing that's really missing is AoE. Other than that, we have everything we need. So honestly, let's see if we can take this to 10 wins. See. And hey, who knows? Maybe we can even get to 12 if things go right. But honestly, when you get up to like double uh, digits, then you're going to start facing other very strong decks so we'll see what we can do I do hope we can go far though I think we might all right and I don't think I've ever gotten this many legendaries in one arena deck I mean yeah I, I haven't <laughs> okay let's see little exorcist you're not that exciting um then again, I guess it could be. And since we also have another free drop, I mean, we have a lot of opportunities for turn three here, actually. Also got the coins. We could skip turn three. And just go directly to the shredder. Like, if nothing on turn three is a pro Like, honestly, let's just keep everything. It gives us a lot of opportunities. Like, if we play this on turn two, keep the coin. Then on turn three, we can play what we get from this, that, or that, or just a shredder. Yeah, why not? Oh. Well, that's a... L oh! At least. Um, well, I think we just end turn here, really. I'm a little concerned that 
he's starting out this early on because I don't really want to take all this. Uh, yeah, that's a very strong curve. I need to stop that somehow. Which the dual scarab doesn't really do, but hey, who knows? Maybe we will get a lightning storm. Mm, power maze. Yeah, power maze. Let's go that. We got a mech ready. Yeah, okay. So we end turn. We just need to not take too much damage. <sighs> Which could be difficult. I mean, you have such good cards. Oh, thankfully he has a weak turn here. Yeah, that doesn't do too much. For free mana. Kill one little minion there. Alright, then we get the power maze here. The next turn we can play the, the shredder and buff it up. I just hope he doesn't have a silence. That would be a shame. Let's kill that. Let's see what he does. Uh, don't let. Oh my! No, that's how Ragnar is too. Oh my! We just need to survive. Like our card quality is so high, but he's just pounding us, and we don't have any taunts. Oh! Oh! Wow. Oh. Okay, well, let's do this. And I think we're gonna kill one here, so we can buff this one up. Because otherwise, you could kill that without us getting a, you know, the buff on it. We don't have any other mix coming up. If only this one had taunt or something, though. But then we can play Hawker next turn. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see what he does. Just not no silence, please. That's all I ask. <laughs> And then, let's not die. Okay, so he's playing a little more defensive here, actually. It's, oh! I'm surprised, actually, that he would do that. That doesn't seem like... Hmm, okay. Oh, that's another option. Because <laughs> hmm, maybe I want to play this one here, because that way that would survive. That could be actually quite good. Let's do that. And then um, we'll kill that. Still have this one. And the next turn we can play Harker. And then we have the coin for turn 7 for Ragnaros. That's normal arena plays, right? Yeah, sure. Well, actually, it helps a little bit that it helped, uh, healed our hero too. Alright, I think we got this one. Oh, Knife Juggler, that's a good one to get. Well played. <laughs> Especially with Harker, actually, now that I think about it, if he doesn't get rid of it. He's not gonna give up now, right? I mean, we wanna play our... We have three legendaries in our hand. Alright. Let's get Harker out there. And finally, we have our Christmas background in Arena. And the problem is that the last Arena run I started just before I changed my card back to the Christmas one. So even after I changed to the Christmas card back, my um, my card back didn't change in that run because it used the one that we started the run with. Unfortunately, but now I finally got it just in time for Christmas. Hmm. Oh man. <laughs> Please don't concede yet. I want to play my Ractoros here just after Harker. Just because of the ridiculousness of it all. All right, so we got that one. Well <laughs> Happy Feast of Wintervale. Uh, Happy Feast of Wintervale. Let's kill that first, and then um, so if we kill that, he gets a. Uh, that's fine. Then we will do this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's like Hearthstone's uh, Christmas present for me. I, I mean, I have to play at least Star Seeker next turn, even if it's not the best play, because playing three legendaries in a row in Arena, I, I'm not sure that's something I will ever get a chance to do ever again. Oh, and oh, right, you can actually shuffle two maps into your deck with the B 
brewmaster, can't you? I don't think that's the right choice, though. But, uh, let's go for that. <laughs> this is just stupid. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Alright, you got a heal butt. <laughs> and what else? Let's please let us draw the map. Let's draw the map. Come on. It has been so ridiculous so far. Why not make it a little more ridiculous? Alright. Ah, okay. No map. Uh, if we attack... I mean, we could potentially have lethal here, but... Uh, let's just play it nice and simple. I guess we're not in any real rush. Um, if we... Get back. Doesn't really matter if you kill Get that or not. Back. Let's just do that. Oh, why, why don't we do this? So we can get another map. Yeah, let's do that. Do you have the and, <laughs> and then uh, let's just play this too. And I'll oh, just go for the face. Why not? Alright, looking good, looking good. <laughs> I really don't see how we could lose this, but honestly, if we do lose it, I think I might even like this game even better, just because that would be ridiculous too and it would fit the theme. We would like to draw the map though. I have a feeling we won't have the time. Alright. What else do you got? Happy it's not the mage. <laughs> it's like, what can you do with that guy's position, right? It's like nothing. Hero power, sure. I, can see. <laughs> I mean, he said well played to us earlier. We never quite said it back. That's because, I, I mean, Christmas time, I prefer the other emote. But I figured I would give him a little well played there in the end. Alright, let's see if our second game can be as awesome as the first one. Doubtful, doubtful. But if it could even be help as good, I'll be happy with that. All right. Got a ball luck. And we got two legendaries in hand already. Huh. Not really cards you necessarily want to start out with, though. We don't have any... All these cards are so good, but... We, we need a two-drop. You know... You know what? Let's start with at least Darcy in our hand. Like get out early so, so we can just try and get the map. It might not be the best decision, but it's the fun decision, right? So let's go with that. And uh, I mean, it's not like it's a bad four drop anyway. It's pretty decent. Of course, not as quite as good as a shredder, but if you can get the map into the deck earlier, that would be good. Feast of Wintervale. That's what I'm talking about. Finally, some Christmas spirit. Oh, and he got a scarab. We got a scarab. He's missing the card back, though. What's up with that? All right. Well, we got zero mana, so. Unless you want a soul fire. Well? Happy Feast of Wintervale. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, play our own scarab here. And... Uh, 
Oh. Oh. At first I was like, I mean, this one could be cool for some AoE. But then I'm thinking about, like, what are we going to do next turn? And this one is, like, the perfect card for next turn. So, uh, let's keep that around. Alright. Yeah, the curve looks pretty good. Could have been nice with that AoE, though. Oh, wow. Taking away your own mana. Uh, let's play... It does trade pretty well with this, though. Maybe we should just get the Star Seeker out. Alright, if we play the Star Seeker here, what are we gonna do next turn? Then we don't have any 4 mana cards. Hmm. Ah, I guess we should get this one out. And I hope we get like a good totem. Flame Tongue would be kinda sad actually. Uh, yeah, actually I'm tempted to just hex it. Because we got 2 hexes. Yeah, let's just hex it. Alright, and now he is uh, behind the mana because of that. We still got another Hex, so I'm fine with that. And then now we play the Star Seeker. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Perfect. Hmm. Oh. Wait. Is he gonna play that Absorb Demon guy that I forgot the name of? I hope not. Okay, good. He's not. Well, actually, what's the plan here then? I guess, oh, maybe he has a Mortal Coil? If he doesn't, he should have played this one first, trying to see if he could get a Mortal Coil. Nope. Alright, then I'm not really sure I understand what he just did. That seems like a very poor choice. I guess I won't complain. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. What do we play now? Could be nice to get a mech out so we could buff it up later, but it doesn't really work so well. I think Commander doesn't really work. I guess you could play this plus a totem. Nah, because it's like if you're gonna play this one next turn. Maybe just play this and end turn. That could probably be okay. We don't use all our mana, but it's probably fine. Yeah. Oh, two damage. Oh, oh no. Well, that's not good at all. Hmm. All right. Well, our cards are not that amazing here, just for this particular situation. Maybe just play this. See which totem we get. Did you bring some fish? Healing totem. Oh, okay. That's not the worst thing. And then um. We'll play this one. Kill one of those. Kill that one too. And kill this one. No, let's kill that one. And uh, enter. I was really wish lightning storm would be so great, but uh, we don't have it. Maybe we'll get another scarab and then get it. We could even panther it back to try it another time. Oh, well, that was all his mana. Uh, I mean, he's bought, he just has like a few demons. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. All right, but it's like we don't have any cards that are good at dealing with a whole bunch of small minions. Huh, like this one doesn't do well. Clockwork Knight doesn't really. I think I might not. Ah, Panda? It's just. Ravenhold Assassin? Yeah, you know what, let's just play Ravenhold. Maybe we can just like, kind of go for the face and like... And if he plays a big minion, we just deal with it with Hex. You smell like a leopard, oh, oh Argent Commander. That actually does well here. Yeah, and we're still doing fine on life. 
Go for the face with this, take him down to 18, put some pressure on him. He kills this one with two, these two, but that's fine if you also get rid of that. Got our map in there somewhere, unfortunately, we might not draw it at all. Oh, this one? I guess we got a hex then. Yeah, no, I command that doesn't make sense anymore. So if we hex. Oh, but then we also gotta ah, do that. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Don't get any damage in then. But uh, let's just do this. Kill that, and uh, I think we just played in gnome, the night here. Even though we don't buff anything, I think it's probably the best play right now. I mean, we do have a pretty scary board compared to him. It's just we don't have any tools for getting rid of these small minions. Alright. Haka would be nice. We can deal with that. Oh. Well, now he basically. Like, okay. Hmm. A lightning storm would be so good. Come on, Scarab. Fire got destroyer. Um. Maybe run that. Maybe. Yeah. What if we do. This. That. And then uh, you get the fire god destroyer out too. I think that works. That works very well indeed. Now he's gonna get rid of that, of course. He's left 19 life. 21 if you count these two. Right, now he's playing defensive. Happy with that. Alright. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, Dread Infernal. Hmm. Well, at least he got rid of his uh, little buffer guy. Ragnarvas. Huh. Alright, let's go for it. We do this and kill that. And then hope it hits the 6-6. Six, six. Come on. Oh, excellent. Oh man, I've had such so many bad arena decks lately. Finally a good one. It's it's good. It's nice. It's Christmas. Uh, well, ah, we can deal with that. We just gotta really get rid of that one so you can't make more. So if you do that, and then maybe play this one. Heal up a bit. I mean, the thing is you can still kill it with that, but... That way, the, it won't die to like Mortal Coil or some, or another Dread Infernal or something like that. So let's just do that. And play the Spiteful Smith as well. And if you're lucky, Ragnarosh will just kill the Warcrawler. Ah, okay, taking down to 12. That's okay too. Still not getting that map though. I mean, I do think Lothar would actually have been a stronger pick, but. It just seems wrong to say no to Elise. I just, I just want to get the map at least one time, and and the monkey actually. I guess the monkey is what I really want, but I guess we can't get the monkey without the map. So, yeah, you know. All right, discard more cards. That's fine with me. Um. I guess we just take him down, and then... It doesn't really matter, like, we either win this turn, or we kill the 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> and probably win next turn, right? Alright, going pretty well so far. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.